Welcome to the wasteland, Billy. You are your life you know flashes you through your eyes multiple times a day. These guys want to kill us. Yeah, I know they do. Ah, don't let them hurt me. I think we're okay, Billy. Don't worry. No, we're not. Oh God. Famous last words. We'll try. Right, Nick? We are off to Warwick Homestead to see if they need help and to potentially recruit them. It's in an area we haven't been yet, but we did retake the castle. Um, that's what I'm going to be calling it anyway, because it's easy to remember. Um, but yeah, that was a good time, and I don't know how many more settlements we're going to need before we can actually bring it to the Institute, but I sure hope... Call. I sure hope that it's, you know, gonna happen relatively soon. Do you need help, bird? You look injured. Bird? Okay, don't ask any questions. I was trying to give him a nudge, but apparently... <laughs> There's nothing that can help him. There's a lot of birds in this area. It's also extremely foggy. Like, you know, we've been exploring on foggy days before, but this is... This is a whole new kind of foggy. Like, you can't see... Ah! Uh, two feet in front of your face. Can't see your hand when you hold it in front oh, of your face. Damn. Nick, Damn, incoming! Oh, how did you get there? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I think there's raiders there, but um, it's kind of funny that immediately I was talking about not being able to see. Oh, no, I'm not interested in your crap. Is this really where I'm trying to go? Oh, wait. Why? Oh, that's just my marker. Um, no, I would like to... No, I would like to remove my marker. Okay, yeah, we need to go south. Um, there. I was accidentally heading towards my custom marker. What the? Some, there's some, there is definitely people around. Anyway, as I was saying, it's kind of funny that I was talking about how we could see. What is that? Right when I stepped on a landmine. There's raiders around here. This tower looks really cool. This is the only reason why I'm curious. Kind of want to. Oh, watch out, Nick! Oh God! Oh my God! I regret everything. Oh boy. Why don't I have my power armor? Why didn't I take my power armor? Lights out for you. I'm just getting God started. Damn it, I need cover and fire. Where are they? I don't see them anymore. The fog is too thick. Nick. Oh god. Well, <sighs> what the hell was that gun? I think that was a fist weapon. Okay, anyways, that never happened. Let's continue. Let's let's go around this way, shall we? There's going to be dudes, but let's let's take the stealthy approach. There could be landmines as well, so we should be on the lookout. Um, we should probably go around. That's definitely the camp. Hey. No one? Who's there? God, it's so freaking foggy. I just really don't like this part of, oh, of the map. Uh, 
Um, Don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes. Nice, Nick. He didn't even see it coming. I'm taking- I have a lot of my Rolerk meat right, meat right now. I'm thinking of cooking it, because it makes decent food. Um, a little bit radiated, but, uh, it tastes pretty good. Oh, of course. Legendary glowing my Rolerk. Okay, and hatchlings. We're good. Limb damage. Okay. Let's continue sneaking, shall we? Alright, now how do we get to where we want to be? We actually need to go this way. Okay, should have been looking at my map. We need to go around this way to get there. That is my bad. Like we're gonna have to get a little bit wet. But there's just something about this area, like this this side of Boston that's just like ugh, it's all gross and wet and even more horrible than the rest of it. Okay, what are you guys doing here? Food paste? Hmm. Intervention note. Guessing the intervention didn't go so well. Oh, there's a special category for notes, I think. Yeah, that's right. Intervention note. Oh, Hank, you've been eating a lot of that food paste that we got from that Suffolk school. It's affecting you, like, in a really bad way, man. You've been flying off the handle at every little thing. Always have this crazy look in your eye. Heck, during that last farm raid, you even shot up a couple runners. We don't kill them when they're fleeing, man. We're better than that. I know the stuff tastes great, but is it really worth all this? I mean, I had to write this down because I'm scared you would shoot me in the face if I said anything in person. We're your friends. We don't just want to see you go down the wrong path. Just drop the paste, man. Hmm. Well, oops. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I went to click on this. I wanted a food paste. Inspect. Is it- does it have drugs in it? Why is it so pink? It looks like somebody spray painted it. Eh. Hmm. Well, seems fine to me. Hopefully those won't be my last words. Nick, if I start acting extra aggressive, make sure you slap me in the face. Alright, now to get down this way. Straight south. Okay. Hostile sensor reading detected. Okay. Need to be careful again. Please reveal yourself. Detected. Curious. Since. I believe we can get around this. Why are you hiding? Not hiding, just strategically moving past you. Are you attempting an ambush? No, I just said I'm strategically moving past you. Welcome, traitors. I am detecting stealth activity. Hmm. That's not very welcoming. Something horrible has happened to this settlement. Sensors indicating concealed organic life form. I think maybe the institute has been here. For long. And are possibly still here, as it sounds. This this seeker. Okay, are they actually look er, looking for me? Because that's not good news. I hope that's not the case. 
think we're out of range now. Gunners. What's that? Is someone there? I can hear you. Get me out Hello? of this thing. What? Get me out of here. Are you in this pile of wood? Hello? Let me- Uh, Nick? Let me- Are you in the refrigerator? Where are you? Who's there? Let me out! Nick? Oh! Um... Who what are you? What does that matter? Just let me out! How did you end I up in there? I here to get away from the bomb, but there isn't a handle on the inside, and it's really dark in here. The bombs are 200 years ago, you're that I old? I don't know how long I've been in here. A long time, though. A really long time. Please, I don't want to die in here. How have you been surviving in there? Was there enough pickles to last you 200 years? I don't understand. Why should I trust I'm you? I'm really tired and lonely. Can't you just open the door? Okay, fine. Yes. I've been stuck in here for so long. Hurry up. Shoot the door off. Uh, my legs are so stiff. Every uh, really bright out. I haven't seen the sun in so long. Ah, you're a ghoul child. Aha. Hi. Nice to meet you, Billy. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um... What's the story with you in the fridge? It happened so long ago, back before everything got wrecked. When I heard the sirens, I tried to find someplace safe. When everything started to shake and fall apart, I just crawled inside. When it got quiet again, I tried to get out. But there isn't a handle on the inside. I just want to go home. Can you help me? Please? I'm sorry to break it to you, but your parents are most likely dead. You do realize it's been 200 years. This is a discussion the kid has to have right now? I don't believe you. They are alive and looking for me. Can you please uh, take me to them? Or at least to my old house? I suppose it won't hurt to see your old home or whatever's left of it. I hope it's still there. I had some great baseball cards. Yeah, I wouldn't get your hopes up, dude. I really wouldn't. Okay, it's not far. We'll stop there on the way to our destination. Come on. Well, this is a weird happenstance. Now look. Billy. It's dangerous in the wasteland, okay? There's my point right there. So just try not to get killed. You've lasted 200 years in that fridge. I'm sure you want to last a bit longer. is that? Probably... Hello? Bullets? Excuse me. Who are you? Sir? Excuse me. He is... He is not... He's very concentrated. That's fine. Or maybe he's traumatized. That must be it. He saw something that was so horrible. And now he can't look away. Okay, here's a little place that would. Don't look at that, Billy. On second thought, 
go ahead and look at that, Billy, because it's not the worst thing that you're going to see. Trust me. Oh, speaking of that, yes, okay. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, look, another police station. Get another tape for Nick. Lucky you, Nick. these guys. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but I would like to. Okay, if we just follow this main road, we should get to your house. Billy? Nick? Nick, are you watching over Billy? Oh, he's here. Okay. Look, you're supposed to be there. sneaking. No one... <sighs> what the hell's that? Is that a red rocket? There's a red rocket. Is this a door? It's... no. Hey. Okay, I think there's more raiders here. Quincy ruins. Hmm. Well, apparently he lives on the other side of this, so let's go around. Okay, never mind. Let's not go around. Let's try and go this way. Bullet. Cute hey. kid. Is he for sale? Um, I don't want any trouble. Just trying to make a living. So You're you want to, to sell that kid or not? Uh... No? What kind of a person are you? The kind who does whatever it takes to survive out here. Thanks, lady. You're all right. <sighs> Let that be a lesson to you, Billy. Everyone, everyone, and I mean everyone, well, maybe not everyone, but just assume everyone is an asshole. Now, if karma will play its part, that will happen. Ha. Huh. Okay. Come on, Nick. Don't engage. I'll take some industrial. No okay, uh, are we still going the right way? Ooh, we're almost there. There should be a road here, a side road. What the? Okay, more raiders. Why is the point of interest? Actually, Billy lives there. 
Billy? What? I hear something. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, this place is not safe. Not safe. Uh. Billy? Okay. Come on, Billy. Quincy Quarry? Guys? Who's that? It's a raider freak. Okay. Actually, why is that still a... Billy doesn't live here. Okay, come on. I feel like I should kill that guy. Okay, there's super mutants in that place. I'd rather not deal with them. I'd like to make a safe... Good grief, this is like a swamp area. It's really weird. There's a vault? There's a vault here? Oh my god, that's super tempting. Uh... Probably kill him. Oh, he's. Hurt me! Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Now the gunners want to kill us before they were fine. Are they actually in a battle with the raiders right now? Let's just go along the exterior here. Ignore the super mutants. go along this? What if we go through this pipe? Let's try that. Maybe this is... It's fine. Nick! God damn it. Where is he? How you imagined you'd go? Where? Nope. Oh, that is so not fair. We're gonna get through this is if we are very, very careful. Who's there? Oh my god. Okay. Good drop. You guys okay with dropping? Maybe we can't. No, I don't think we can. These guys wanna kill us! And they saw me. Okay. Just, we'll just uh, train them into here. Literally, because we're kind of on a train. Okay, we got. I gotta shoot the one 
that has the rocket launcher. Where is he? There he is! Directly adjacent to me. Of course! <sighs> Christ's sake! Come on! Let's try again! Welcome to the wasteland, Billy! You are Where your life you know flashes me. through your eyes multiple times a day. These guys want to kill us! Yeah, I know they do. They've already done that multiple times. How do they already see me? I'm I'm sneaking. <sighs> Guess I should have been walk sneaking, right? Come on. Rocket launcher, bro, where are you? Okay. They're here somewhere. Yeah, they're here somewhere, Nick. If only you could find out where they are. Dog meat is around here. What's that? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I found the rocket launcher guy. Or I think I might. Is it you? No. Recoup, need to recoup. Nick. Please come here, Nick. Oh god. Uh, oof. Uh oh. Are you serious? Something out there. We're just gonna wait. In fact, I'm gonna take drugs preemptively. <sighs> Let's see. How about some buff tats? How about some jet fuel? How about some medics? How about some overdrive? Mmm, that sounds delicious. How about that as well? Okay, and then how about oh, Nick, I re I really wish you wouldn't be there, Nick. I wish you weren't out in the open like that. Oh. Reloading is bad, especially when you're stuck. Okay, got her. Safe in the train. I'm safe in the train. God, I hope there's a bounty on you. Probably is at this point. <laughs> I'll be honest. They're gonna Nick? shoot us. Billy, for the love of God, stay in your hideout. 
don't think I've killed the rocket launcher person. Oh. We'll be taking that. Hey, Nick, you're alive. I don't know where you are, though. Oh. Sorry, dude. Thought you were a gunner. But I'm not sad that I shot you. <laughs> not sad at all. In fact, I think he was a gunner. Missed. Didn't miss. Perfect. Who's left? One guy over here. Two guys. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? They have guns! Run! Yeah, obvious no, Billy, stay there. Is there someone behind you? Nick, where are you? Come on, how did that not hit him? Okay, I need to get closer, I think. I'm not doing anyone any favor right here. There we go. Come on, dude, poke your head out. Doing the green pew pew lasers. I hope I Billy might smarter than this. Does Billy have a plasma rifle? No. D oh, you, you. Okay. Won't be bothering anybody now. Shooting at Billy. Don't let them hurt me. Uh. Oh, crap. Well, don't stay right there, then, you idiot. Babysitting is the worst. Nick, get out of the way. All right. Come on. I know you're up there. I kill you for free. For free, huh? What a deal. Where can I sign up? Jetpack armor. I don't. Let's take another set of that. Why not? Oh. There's a turret around here. I'm on it. <sighs> These guys don't have anything. Okay. Good job, friends. Now, if we could only make progress from here. Is someone shooting? Or is that oh, that's something else weird happening? We're so close. So close. Where? Can 
Can I even shoot him through there? Stupid turret as well. Ah. Well, I hit him. There we go. Clint is now dead. Where's that turret coming from? Nick, why are you- ah! Ah! Nick, why are you up here? Good grief! Why did you come up here? This is a bad idea. Really bad. Hollis is terminal? Ugh. Setting up defenses. Looks like we got here just in time. We ended up taking a group of gunners from behind as we came into the town. Took about a half... Took out about a third, but at least a dozen ran off. Mayor Jackson was practically in tears when we came up. Even let us use his own house as a barracks. Gotta say, it's nice to find the Minutemen welcome like we were back in the old days for a change. Preston's been helping them get some better walls up, and the town's mechanic has been invaluable. He's even has a couple suits of power armor. If he can get get them up and running, it'd be a huge help. We don't have near enough manpower to hold the town if the gunners return in force, but I can tell I can't tell anyone that. Oh boy. <sighs> no one showed up for reinforcements. Terrible turn of events. Politely informed him that there was not a chance in hell of that happening. Okay, well. All the more reasons for us to take it back, I suppose. Right, guys? But, like, seriously. This is a cute little town. It's definitely not safe right now, though. It was a cute little town, I should say. Guns, guns, and more guns. Oh, and a minute, man. Oh my god! Okay. Uh, is Billy still alive? Oh, good grief. Okay, yes, good. We're fine. We're fine. Ah, don't let them hurt me! I think we're okay, Billy. Don't worry. No, we're not! Oh god! Famous last words. Okay, no more lollygagging. We're going, come on. We're not even going to engage these people. We might have to kill Clint again. But it's fine. Come on, guys. Okay, it looks like we're good. We don't have to kill Clint. We're almost to Billy's house! <sighs> Poseidon energy. Hmm. It's a little bit swampy around here. Does any of this look familiar, Billy? That lighthouse out there is pretty creepy. Um... Is this your house? Mom? Dad? Are you in there? Peabody. Billy? Really? Really? Oh my god. She's alive?! Son? Is that really you? It's me. It's really me. Oh what? my god! We thought you were dead. What happened to you? You're all burned up like me. We're ghouls, Billy. The radiation changed us. Looks like it did the same thing to you. Don't worry about it, Billy. 
Your dad and I don't care what you look like. We still love you. I love you too, Mom. I missed you guys. It's been so long. Thank yes. you for bringing us back, our little boy. And saving us from that man. You're welcome. What man? Clint? <laughs> what? Uh... Thank Billy, I told him you were dead. The bombs didn't kill us. Almost, but not quite. Please, take this. It's the least we can do. Thanks. Question, how is Carol's dress so unbelievably white? How are you guys safe here? I never thought you need... I would see my mom and dad again. Yes. Thanks. Do you guys, like, you know... Yeah? Want to come and live in one of my settlements or something? Because... I just took over a castle that's pretty well fortified. I have the Minutemen. Um, you know, we're starting an army against the Institute. I don't know if you guys care, but... Oh, my friends are dead. It's almost like being back in that fridge. Oh, my God. Kids are so not appreciative. Anyways, now that that's over with, I suppose you want to go to the police station, huh, Nick? Let's do that. I'm game if you want to keep moving. Yeah. I'm not the one that benefits from a good night's rest. I'm good. You know, it is it is getting late in the day, but I think I can afford one more stop before we head to our actual important destination. What? Okay. And we brightened somebody's day. Hopefully we brightened their entire lives. Their horrible apocalyptic lives What's by bringing wrong? them their kid. Only someone could have done the same for me. Yes, we're not alone. They won't be bothering anybody now. All your friends are dead, okay? You don't need to be alive. Okay, where is the police? Is this is the police station? I have my doubts, but apparently it is. Okay, uh, Scorps. No, Baker, no, goddamn Clint, I can't fucking believe this, that asshole Clint let those Minutemen get away with the settlers. He says they gave him a slip, but how do we know he isn't playing the side against the other? How can we trust that he isn't betraying us for a better, better deal? I still think Captain West gave that asshole a command. Okay, well, whatever. Um, you play the tape. Look, Tessa, the orders come down straight from Captain West. Clint has the command here, and that's just how it is. If you keep running your mouth off, he's gonna make an example of you to show that he's still in charge. And why do you think he picked you to deal with those Scorps down at Super Duper Mart? Now, maybe you got away with that shit back when you were running with raiders, but gunners stick to the chain of command. Besides, we wouldn't have been able to take Quincy without him, and you wouldn't have that sweet power armor. So get over it. Baker out. Well, they're all dead now, so it doesn't matter. Um, looking for... Oops, that is not what I meant to do. I wanted to pick that box up, but oops. Uh... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God, I thought I was going to break my legs. Okay, uh... There's supposed to be a tape somewhere. <sighs> I think. Ah! Here it is. Robert Cooper. Bobby, we discussed this. You hooking up with your stepsister is your own friggin' business. But you talk in your sleep. Look, maybe you babble about baseball or sing show tunes. Like Oops. watching a conductor at the orchestra. Thanks. Ooh, military grade duct tape. An active distress pulser? Okay. 
Eddie Winter. Okay. Well, I got another one. Go on. Overdue book. No, thank you. Uh, okay. You got my attention. Quincy wasn't exactly a tourist hotspot before the gunners moved in. What is this? A book return terminal? <laughs> now I wish I'd been in collecting overdue books. trap here. Might as well get rid of that. Wouldn't want anyone turning it on. Okay. More raiders around here, I'm sure. Damn. I was hoping I could send him sailing down there, but no. <laughs> that would have been great was not to be. What is going on? It's very hard to tell. It's pretty radiated around here though and I don't like it. But at least we don't have Billy with us anymore. That's a load off. Okay, now we're almost to the farm. Let's see if we can get there before night falls. It is rapidly approaching. I don't even want to imagine what's in there. Might be a good place to loot if it's full of robots, actually. No one there. Okay, it's full of raiders. Or gunners. Or someone like that. Goodbye. Oh. That's interesting. It's a beached ship. Is it a lookout tower? Something really creepy about derelict ships, man. It just gives me the chills. Especially big ones. Hello? Hello? Wreck of the FMS Northern Star? I don't know whose this is, so I don't really want to steal it. Okay. Ah. I don't think are, you, we're alone. are you guys alive? Yes. Well, you were alive. Okay, well that answers my question. If there's anyone here. Uh... And the, the answer is probably no. So, let's continue. Get out of the storm. Hello, friendlies. Friendlies. Don't think I've seen you around here before. Hi, Roger. You these parts? Yes, I am, actually. It's complicated, though. Well, that's none of my business. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why set up a farm at a place like this? I was wondering It might that. not look like much. And there's that smell. But that's the thing. See, this used to be a sewage plant. The most fertile soil in the Commonwealth is right under oh, our feet. Oh, okay. Take the good with the bad, I guess. Yeah, that's the silver lining. 
<laughs> that's how it is everywhere, friend. You find something out there that's all good and no bad, please let me know. Yeah, I'm not sure that exists. I feel lucky to even be having this conversation. We fell on some hard times not long ago. A pack of super mutants hit us and wrecked our entire crop. Used to be the Minutemen would have helped us out, but last I heard, they were too busy fighting each other to worry about us farmers. So we were on our own, all of us starving, near to death. No man should have to watch his wife and children suffer. You know what I mean? Funny you should mention the Minuteman. Uh, those days are now over. The Minutemen are back, and we won't let you down again. If that's true, I'm glad to hear it, because we still need help. Those super mutants are still out there somewhere, and they could come back at any time. I know yeah. it's a lot to ask, but if you put an end to them, we'll all sleep a little easier. Do you know where they're coming from? We have a pretty good idea. I hope you can find them and wipe them out. Okay, uh, Wilson Automatoys. Anything else? Can I sleep here? I would really appreciate that. Everyone wants a piece of what I got. Cricket. I think I saw you in Diamond City before. Uh, you're kind of creepy though. Stick to the roads. You got a better chance of surviving. Not always necessarily true. Um. Oh. Uh. It's a secret door. Okay. Uh. Let's see if we can sleep over. Uh, if not, I don't know if I have my bedroll with me. I hope I do. Do I? Good question. Uh, don't think that I do. Yes, I do! Alright! Fantastic. Just have to remember to pick it up again. I knew you would help us. Hey, Janie. Do you mind if I ask you something? I sure. need an honest opinion, and I figure you've got no reason to lie to me. Uh, sure, ask away. Okay, here goes. My question is, do you think a person can change? I mean, really change, like, deep down. Uh... I mean, from what I have learned, no. Not usually, but in the most extreme certain stances, people are sometimes forced to change. I think you must be right. My dad's a good example. He used to drink all day and he never did any work. And then one day everything changed. He stopped drinking completely and started to work really hard, sometimes long past sunset. He suddenly seemed to care a lot more <clears throat> about what happened to the farm and to us. Honestly, it was nice. Hmm. Yeah, sounds like he just needed to change his priorities. No question about that. I guess I just wanted to know it was normal what happened to him. Thanks for helping me sort things out. No worries. Yeah, sometimes just something happens and people... Something clicks in their mind and they just decide they're going to do something. And until that happens, it's hard to change anyone's mind about anything. Okay, um, it is 6 a.m. It's no longer horrible outside. I'm still wondering about what's on top of that boat, but it does look pretty awesome and spooky. Um, maybe I'll talk to you, this guy one more time. With a little elbow grease, you can achieve just about anything. Uh-huh. With a little elbow grease, Nothing you can huh? achieve just about anything. 
Right? And oh, I can maybe cook my nice meat. Mine one of these at the agency. Yeah, this is what oh queen steak. That's right. We're gonna kill the queen. How are we doing on the hunt for Eddie's taste? Breathe underwater. That actually could be useful. I can't make another one of those? I can only have one at a time or something? That's weird. But we can make some omelets. Um, unfortunately, that's all I can make. Oh, I can roast the meat. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Now we've got some food. Very nice. Okay. Um... I hope you're satisfied with the search for Eddie's tapes that we've been going on, Nick. I think it's been going pretty well. Now, to find these super mutants.